John, in this conference we've been trying to take a broad look at international intervention and see all the different aspects uh, of, of it. How do, how do you see it? How, how, what is international intervention as far as you're concerned? Well, I think what's frustrating is, is as soon as you start talking about international intervention, you default to the military coercive intervention because that's interesting and it's controversial and we've had a lot of it and there's a lot of questions about it. But I think as you're implying in your question, international intervention is much, much wider than that. Um, it's, it's diplomatic, it's commercial, it's economic, it's mediatory, it's development, I mean, there's all kinds of ways of intervening. Whatever international or national governments do, in some ways, intervening in a situation. So we do need to look at the whole spectrum. And in particular, we need to look at it because what we're trying to avoid is having to do uh, military intervention, which is always the last resort. So we should be trying to focus more on, on mediation and prevention and so on. Now, prevention, as we were discussing today, can be intrusive, uh, even more intrusive maybe than military intervention after a crisis has started. But we need to do a lot more of that. It's cheaper, it's more effective, uh, and we need to focus more on, on all those kinds of, uh, of less sexy uh, but less military intervention because they're likely to be more effective. Uh, and nation building is a, uh, is a very difficult business, as we've been talking about again. Thank you. And, and you were the United Nations Emergency Relief Coordinator uh, and Under Secretary General for Humanitarian yeah. Affairs. What's your view about the place of humanitarianism in intervention? Is, it, is, is humanitarianism possible in the, in the modern world of intervention? Well, it gets very difficult if you look at the humanitarian efforts in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, it was extremely difficult to operate. It was very dangerous. The confusion between what the military were doing and what the humanitarians were trying to do was, was almost total, certainly in the Afghanistan case, which made it more dangerous and less effective. I think. Um, people often talk about humanitarian intervention. The point I often make is that humanitarians are not usually the ones calling for intervention. Uh, it's, the, it's politicians who then dress up their political ideas as humanitarian because that's, they think that's a better way to tell it to the public. So uh, we should be very careful about linking humanitarianism and intervention. Sometimes intervention is done for the right reasons and for humanitarian reasons. Often it's not, but everybody tends to use the word humanitarian because they think it sounds better.